Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video I will be walking through the practice test 3.2. Okay, as I mentioned in our last video, uh, test 3 has three practice tests and in this video I'll be going over practice test 3.2. 3.2 threshold. Sue is concerned because her car seems to be getting worse gas mileage than it has in past years. Fortunately, she has been carefully recording her average mileage in a file. She decides to write a program to determine how often the mileage dips below a certain threshold. Consider a mileage file called mileage.txt that has the following data. Okay. First time she runs her program, she gets the following output. The following items are below the threshold. Okay. So she says what, file, what the file name is, what the threshold is that she wants, and then she'll isolate everything below that threshold in the file. Now that there is a tab before, e oh, note that there is a tab before each number in the fi in the final list. The second time she ran the program, Sue gets the following output. Okay, awesome. So assignment: prompt the user for the file name, read the data from the file, prompt the user for the threshold, display all the items in the data set that are below the threshold, and use proper modula modularization, of course. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, I'm going to clear that. All right, so I just made a new file for my practice test 3.2 threshold. Um, and I put in a couple of includes in my uh, main function here. One other include that we're going to need is file stream. Okay, so we can actually read from the file. So let's just kind of start with main. Um, All right, let's dive in here real quick. So main, let's go ahead and say char file name. Let's declare the stuff that we're going to need. Uh, let's say 256 for that. OK, hopefully we don't have a file name that big. Float, mileage. Um, let's go ahead and put a max value for that mileage up here. I'm going to put a constant um, for for that. So const or sorry define max 100 okay and then let's come back down into here and I'll say float mileage of max okay put some limit onto our program all right and then int num items okay let's go ahead and read the file I'm going to say get file name uh, with file name being passed in. And we'll just update that value there. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and write get file name. Okay, so I'm going to come up here. I'm going to copy this comment block. Paste. Okay, so uh, get file name, prompt the user for the file name. So I'll say void get file name char file name. Okay, so we pass that in so that we can update it and then see out. I'll go ahead and copy this guy. What is the file name? See in file name. And we're not returning anything. Okay, so there's our get file name function. And then down in here, we need a little bit of error checking, so I'll say if can't read file name mileage num items, then we'll go ahead and do something. Okay, so let's make a function called read. Uh, let's see here. I'm just going to copy this little function and then I'll just paste this up at the top. Okay. All right. So read will uh, read array from file and put it into an array. It will also check for errors. Okay. So for read, we'll go ahead and return. I'm just going to delete these. Uh, a boolean value. Okay, so read. Uh, we're going to pass in our file name. 
we're going to pass in mileage and I'm going to reference int or num items. Okay. All right. So let's open the file. If stream fn file name if fin.fail return false. Okay. And then we'll read the array. So I'm going to say num items equals zero uh, while fn mileage uh, let's see num items and um, items is less than max. Then we'll increment num items. Okay. And then if it fails to read anything from the file, um, we can say if num items is equal to zero, then f in close and return. false. Okay. Uh, let's see. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and compile real quick. So G++ test 3, practice 2. Okay. Void get file name. File name was not declared in this scope. Uh, that looks like a lowercase n and uppercase n. So let's see what our error was there. File name. Those ones look like they match right here. Okay, let's try that again. Uh, another one, bool read char float int, control reaches non void function. Okay, let's look at that one. see what it is. We forgot to return if none of those other conditions were met. So I'll say f in close and return true. True. Okay. So let's see if that works for us. Good. All right. Whoops. That's okay. So now that we have that all set up, um, we need, so we're prompting for the file name, we're getting the file name. Uh, if it can't read it, okay, in here, let's go ahead and say see out um, error reading file, file name, and line. Okay. Else, it read the file. Oh, let's make sure to return here also. And then error code. Okay else we're going to display the threshold. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and declare what that threshold will be. Let's call a function called get threshold. Okay, and then we'll be able to have that. Um, let me come up here. I'm going to copy this, paste it get threshold will prompt user and get desired threshold. Okay. All right. This one should be pretty pretty quick. So float get threshold uh, we'll say float threshold see out what is the threshold? And CN threshold. I think I've ever said threshold so many times in my life. Uh, return <laughs> threshold. All right. So that should be good for our get threshold function. You know, when you look so many times at like a specific word, it like starts to look funny. That's what's happening to me right now. Okay. Um, so in main. We've called get file name. We've read it. We checked for errors. We have float threshold equals get threshold, and now we need to display um, this down here. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and call another function. I'll just say display threshold, and we'll pass in our mileage and our num items and the, th the threshold that they gave us. Okay, and then we'll return for the end of the end of the function. All right, so I'm going to copy this and paste. All right, so display threshold will uh, display the miles over or under the threshold. Okay. So this is going to be void. We're not returning anything. We're just going to display. Uh, we're passing in our mileage. We're passing in num items. And we're passing in the threshold. First things first, we have to format our output. So I'm going to say cout dot set f iOS fixed. Cout dot set f iOS show point and cout dot precision of one looks like. Okay, so we have that set, and then I'm going to say cout. Uh, the following items are below the threshold. Oops, need a line break there. Okay. And we'll have a for loop int i equals zero. Well, i is less than num items. Increment i. Okay. And I'll say if mileage at index of i is less than threshold. Okay, then C out. Need a tab. Mileage at index of i. End line. Okay, so we loop through. If the mileage at that particular line or index in the array is less than the threshold, then we'll just output that. I'll put that number, okay, with a precision of one, and so we don't get an error like we got earlier. I'll just say return, and we should be good to go. So let's try running this. All right, void display threshold, C O U R. Okay, that sounds like my bad there. Let's find our C out. C O U R. All right. Let's try that again. Sweet. A dot out. Uh, name of the file. I need to make a file real quick. Control C. Uh, I'll say Emacs. Um, three two. Mileage. Dot txt. Okay. And I'm just going to copy that into there. And save it. And close it. And let's run this again. So a dot out. What is the name of the file? I named it 32 mileage.txt. What is the threshold? Um, well, let's just test it against this. I'll say 30.0. The following items are below the threshold. Okay, that looks really similar to that. So let's run it against testbed. CS124, practice 32, and I named my file test3, practice2. Okay, looks like we passed our tests. Nice. Um, and let's run our style checker. Style checker, practice. Oh, test. Test three, practice two dot CPP. Got one error here. Oh, it doesn't like my 3.2. Okay, well, I'm gonna leave that. Um, so yeah, that's my walkthrough video for practice test 3.2. I hope that it helps uh, answer any questions that you guys have. But if you have more, just let me know, and I'll be happy to help you out.